I like the specific instruction to remove the table before driving. Hello Wobblies, welcome to Wobbly Otter Outdoors. I'm Chris, this is Skady, and today we're taking a look at the tire table. This is not a paid promotion, we purchased this item ourselves. Setup with the tire table is super easy. It has two jam screws that hold the slide in place during travel, and you unscrew those and then put them on the outside of the frame. Don't tighten them up all the way. There are two short legs that provide the front support on the tire to hold the table in place. Those travel in little slides and have push button releases. Remove those two little legs from their travel positions and slide them into their receivers. They only fit one way. Then you pull the slide out, place it over the tire, push the table against the tire and holding the back of the slide, and tighten up the jam screws. For a reference, the tires on our little travel trailer are 28 inches high. There is also a single leg that swings down from under the table to give it support underneath. That longer support leg can either be placed vertically, perpendicular to the ground, or the leg can be pressed against the tire to give added support. The tire table supports up to 50 pounds. It is not intended to be used as a step or a seat. On the inside of the short support legs and also on the inside of the slide support is a textured tape that is supposed to add a little extra friction to help the tire table stay in position. The tire table is available in two different metals. One is the steel, like we're showing you today, and another is aluminum. The steel tire table weighs 12.6 pounds. The tabletop surface itself is 27 inches by 23 and a half inches as far as usable space. When it's all packaged up, it is 29 inches long, 23 and a half inches wide, and three and an eighth inches high. In the instructions, it says if you're using the tire table on a tire that's taller than 32 inches, that you can pull out the slide, flip it over, and that should make it have more of a grab when you put it over the tire. In the reviews on Amazon, there was a gentleman who said that the tire table did not fit his 37 inch tires that he had on his Jeep. I do not know if he had tried flipping the slide over. Some of the reviews on Amazon questioned whether the finish was powder coated steel versus a black enamel paint. In either case, if the finish becomes scratched, it wouldn't be any trouble to use some black spray paint for touch up. I like the tire table. It's super easy to set up. The aluminum one coming in at under six pounds, if you're concerned about weight, that would probably be the way to go regarding that. It does work well even without that additional leg support, but we'll probably put the additional support down and rest it against the tire. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Product links are in the description. Thanks for watching Wobbly Otter. We love you and hope all your tomorrows are bright.
Until next time.